Yeah, it didn't happen very often. No, it really didn't happen to me very much. Even just seeing someone with my hair color was like, yes! I have not had that where I looked at a movie and thought that was me. But damn, that's a really good question. When you're telling stories about women, people tend to say like, but where's the, how will men relate to this? And it's like, men can relate to a female character. We've been relating to male characters for centuries. Finally, there's this really real authentic dialogue being led by women, you know, with the Time's Up movement and the Me Too movement. I mean, Hollywood is, is the place to be uh, more than ever, especially for a female. And now you, I don't, you have like a voice, people ask you what you think, you're talking to me right now, like I have something to say. I don't want to call it a moment, right? I want to call it the beginning of something really significant. The number one way I think it's changing is by young people creating their own content. There are no gatekeepers for YouTube, you know, there is not a casting director monitoring the upload button that says, well, you're a woman and what does your body look like and well, what do you look like? Like in this outfit, it's literally anyone can upload their story online. I think more than ever, there's more touch points for creators to go directly to an audience. Stories of women of color are not told as well. And I say this as someone who has an immigrant mom who had an arranged marriage and came to Canada from India. I've never seen a story like hers told. There's been this sort of excuse made that certain types of stories about certain types of people don't make money. We have to stop being surprised that women go to movies, or that people that are older go to movies, or that people of color go to movies. Over and over again, let's prove stories about a diverse group of people sells tickets. Worked in, in Marvel films and I'm seeing, you know, my character is incredibly strong and incredibly broken and vulnerable. And then you've got other characters who are just off the wall quirky. And so we're starting to see a little bit more um, variety, which is good. I hope it's just so normal where it's like, of course this person is a superhero. It doesn't matter what color skin is. I want to be a superhero. Ooh, interesting question. What's better, movies or real life? Movies. Oh, what? Real life, I mean. I'm gonna choose movies. <gasps> I've shocked myself. I think real life is beautiful and fantastic, um, but sometimes you wanna go home and you wanna just escape into someone else's world. Stories are the gem of Hollywood. Having said that, there's a lot of other nonsense that happens in Hollywood as well, you know? There, there's not equal representation, there's not equal pay in some instances, and I think when we figure out all of that, we'll be, we'll, we'll be able to birth even better stories. And so I think hand in hand is a double-edged sword, but we're working on it.